The goal is simple. We get under Funky Friday. We play really well. And the next... Uh, I mean... Well Actually, I've done this run before, except that I've never uploaded it because I didn't manage to get called a hacker. Although there are a few things that I learned from that run. One, I need to make a new account on Roblox, so I'm going to go do that. Two, the best time to be playing should be the time when there's most people online. And three, I should probably play on their most populated servers. In other words, it's time for me to become American. And that's why I'll be using Atlas VPN. Atlas VPN is a tool that encrypts your data and hides your virtual location. Protect your data from the prying eyes of your ISP, hackers, advertisers, and etc. When you use Atlas VPN, you can change your country location to any of the country servers that they provide. You can use this to watch content that's blocked in your country on Netflix or on YouTube, or like me, spoof your location on Roblox or whatever game so you look like you're from another country. Also, there's a new imposed rule on YouTube taking 30% tax from ad revenue from US viewers, so if you're from America, please consider downloading this to help me commit tax. It's supported on pretty much any device. Windows, Mac, Android, iOS, you name it. They also have a feature called Breach Scanner that tells you the details if any of your emails, passwords, or usernames have been leaked. This is really important. Please take care of yourself, guys. There's also a new feature. Enjoy a more private browsing experience by blocking websites, third-party cookies that track your data with their new tracker blocker. Right now, Alice VPN is running a massive discount on their three-year deal for just $1.39 per month with a 30-day money-back guarantee. This deal isn't going to last long, so be sure to check it out with the link in the description. And now, back to the video. Right, so I'm here with my main account because I needed to test the offset. I need to make sure that I get as many six as possible, like perfect or close to perfect. And then when I opened up the game, I realized that they added an option to see your opponent's score. So, oh man, this makes it a lot harder. I need to get 100% on everything. And also while testing my offset, I found this really weird thing. I have no idea why this thing is bugged. You can see this person is stuck on the floor when they try to queue. And, and now I'm underneath the stage. What is happening? Yeah, I'm stuck. I'm stuck down here. There's no way to get out of here. It's a resetting. I'm underneath the map now. Holy shit. What is happening? The audio stopped working. Why? Is it because I'm out of the stage? I'm falling. <laughs> what? Yeah. All right, so we have to use a new account so that we look like a completely new person, but they're just doing really well for some reason. And right, we also should use the VPN to connect to America. Okay, let's go. I have Roblox FPS Unlocker running, which means that the game now runs at over 60 FPS, so it'll be easier to play the game. Let's start the timer. The first thing's first, we gotta change all of the settings to my own settings so that I play better. Okay, I wanna see the info bar. Okay, offset is really important. I noticed that the timing windows in this game is ridiculously large, but it's still pretty important that we have the offset correct because I wanna get as many sex as I can. And the good thing about this game having really large judgment windows is that, well, it's easier to look like you're doing really well even though you're not really actually next things next i need to find who is the most talkative person on the server right now and then challenge them so we either challenge the biggest fish here or the most talkative person to get them to talk what is their level hmm pretty high that's really high let's fight them oh they keep saying sus because they're among us lol guess i'll queue up uh, that, that's the problem with this run it's going to be completely rng based on well if i manage to get the queue first and not to mention, I have absolutely no control over what people do in this game or what people say. So this is even worse than Pokemon speedrunning. Zeshi told me that you're more likely to be able to achieve what you want in the run if you're completely silent the entire time. <laughs> Alright, let's fight against this person then. Let's go with Explosion. Is it not working? Oh no, this is adding up time. Alright, let's go. Oh, I lost my 100% accuracy streak. I 
I actually feel nervous from doing this. Like... Like I'm playing in a tournament. Because I need to get <laughs> really high accuracy. I've already broken the 100 streak. And I've missed once. And they left. Damn. Spammer? What is spammer? Oh, it's a hard part. You spam the keys or tabs. The bacon is spam. I did it! I did it! I got the run! <gasps> In first try! I didn't even need to redo it! We got it. We got it. We got it, boys. Alright, so we managed to get the run at about 8 minutes. Uh, I just wanted to say that I don't really want people to repeat this run or like try to go for it because like, uh, what's the point? I did this whole run because I wanted to point out that the people on Funky Friday, they can be quite the sore losers. Wouldn't say it's toxic, but yeah, sore losers. And I know these are the kids and they don't know how to handle a loss. I did try to repeat a run after the first run because I thought the bit rate was bad and I could just try again. And on that run, a person got mad, called me a smurf and a loser for breaking his windshield and uh yeah yeah so like just generally i remember when funky friday first came out a lot of rhythm gamers would like to go on to funky friday to just beat kids because it was fun to just be so much better than everyone else around you and it's like a fun pastime that people get so mad when you beat them although on the flip side on my first run nobody called me a hacker in fact people reacted really nicely to me so there's actually just people who are straight up nice on funky friday and then there's kids who cannot take a loss and i just wanted to point out that like it's kind of a common thing there that you could literally speak Speed run it and I know that people watching this video is probably of a younger demographic don't do that it never looks good in games when you lose and you're like huh you're you're cheating or you're hacking or you're spamming or there's also the other flip side of like ah I, I lost because like my, my keyboard wasn't positioned properly or something I used to do this as well on Osu until I realized that if you keep saying that after every single song it's kind of obvious that you are coping and lying <laughs> yeah so please don't attack any of the kids you see in this video I've already censored the names and everything and like don't repeat what I did I'm not against the Friday Night Funkin community in any way just that that's the what I've pointed out. Friday Night Funkin gets too much hate for what it is. It's just a popular game. People hate it because it's popular. <laughs> it's really weird. So yeah, I'll probably review Funky Friday properly sometime. There's a lot of things I wanted to say and especially since the game changed, like, wow. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to check out Atlas VPN if you want to spoof your location into another country ever. And thanks for watching. <laughs> More people asking if I'm out of the content calling. <laughs> oh, Sue. You play weird written games? <laughs> Ouch. Ouch! <laughs> weird reading games. <laughs> uh, weird reading games. Not wrong. Not wrong. I am quite literally using some weird thing as a controller right now. <laughs> I don't have a whiteboard.